I had a chance to preview the upcoming firmware version 2.0 for the Sony Burano at the media production show this past week in London, and here are the new features. Firmware version 2.0 for the Burano has been in the making for quite some time now, but I'm sure it will be worth the wait once it comes out, which I'm told by Sony is imminent. There's loads of new features, so let's get straight into it. We'll start off with the new 3.8K full frame crop 16x9, which supports frame rates of up to 120 frames per second. This new mode uses the full frame sensor with a slight crop, hence the FFC prefix, however the crop is negligible. A lot of DOPs have been asking for a 4K full frame option with a 120 frames per second support, which would allow them to use the same prime lens for example and still get the same field of view when shooting in normal speed and slow motion. Another highly requested feature from the filmmaking community was the so-called true anamorphic 4x3 option. And now Sony have delivered, there is a new Super 35 4.3K 4x3 option supporting up to 60 frames per second, making it possible to use a huge range of anamorphic lenses with the Burano. Alongside this true anamorphic scan mode, Sony are also adding a new 1.8x disqueeze function for anamorphic lenses, which makes the Burano a very robust option when it comes to shooting anamorphic, as it now supports all sorts of disqueeze options from 1.3x, 1.5, 2.0 and now the 1.x D-Squeeze. This pretty much will cover almost any anamorphic lens you'd want to use with a Burano. And staying on the Super 35 frequency for a second, there is a new 2K or to be exact 1.9K mode, which supports up to 240 frames per second slow motion. This is again a 16x9 mode, which allows you to capture stunning slow motion up to 240 frames per second, this will be ideal for sports and wildlife cinematographers. Other new features and improvements in firmware version 2.0 is the high-low key exposure tool, which gives you a single press indicator on whether your highlights or shadows are exposed correctly. Active high image stabilization support is now available in the 6K full-frame crop, as well as the new Super 35 1.9K mode and the white balance presets are increased to 8 slots from the current 3. This is very useful for documentary shooters or those filming multiple locations for example. Another useful improvement is the on-screen display or the OSD on the SDI and HDMI outputs. Uh, it is now displayed on the outer edges of the screen which gives camera operators a much better view of what's in shot without any of the camera info obstructing the view. There is a ton of new other improvements in firmware version 2.0 and to make it easier for you, I'll just leave them up on the screen uh, for the next minute or so so you can check them out because I really don't want to make this video way too long. Now I know a lot of you will be asking when is this firmware version coming out finally. I, I really don't have an exact date uh, for this firmware release. However, I'm told by Sony that this will be happening very soon. I hope this was useful. If you feel this way, do leave a like, comment and subscribe for more of these and I'll see you in the next one.